Anne Marie, the health department insists the needle exchange program wouldn't cost taxpayers any additional money. Ultimately, they insist it would save money and, more importantly, save lives. The issue has become an imminent threat to our public health. The threat is IV drug use and the sharing of needles. Hepatitis C and HIV, the health department, is spreading at an alarming rate. <laughs> Dr. Virginia Kane is proposing a needle exchange program. While critics say clean, free needles enable addicts and increase drug use. I say that they don't understand. Gloria Haynes is a recovering addict, almost 10 years clean. She works at the Eskenazi Hospital ER, helping overdosing addicts get the help and services they need to recover. If you have a facility or a place where people can go to get the clean needles, then you also have people there that have resources for housing, transportation, and treatment services. The health department's proposed exchange program would provide a variety of services, including health screenings. Syringe exchange programs have been proven, evidence-based, to be the most effective method available to reduce the spread of hepatitis C and HIV infection. Three years ago, Scott County experienced an HIV outbreak attributed to drug users sharing their dirty needles. The health department responded with a needle exchange program. New HIV cases dropped from 187 in 2015 to 27 the following year to just 12 in 2017. Come on, Indianapolis, give us some love. The Marion County Health Department's proposal has the support of key council members, health care organizations, community groups, and others. The council president tells me he believes he has the votes to get this passed by the city county council. That vote could come as early as next week. If approved, the health department would target high drug use neighborhoods and probably getting this exchange program running through a mobile health clinic. John and Marie. All right. Thank you. Rich Van White downtown tonight. 13 Investigates has covered the dramatic difference in reporting of drug-related deaths. Today, the Marion County Health Department put the number of deaths for 2017, just last year, at 287. But a study being done by IUPUI with the help of the Marion County Coroner is putting the number for 2017 at 403 deaths.